and now it's a case of just putting it back together again which uh, I'll take you through very quickly so the first thing we want to do is uh, put our crankshaft back into the motor so, uh, you can locate that uh, and of course it's going to fight me so I'll just do this piece off camera okay like so and that's our, uh, our crankshaft back in there uh, then the next thing for us to do is to uh, reassemble the uh, the piston. So uh, have the uh, parts of the piston here. Okay, so we need to uh, put the pin back into the uh, piston head. And uh, again, it's going to fight me doing it on camera. Uh, bear with me a second. I'll just do this off camera. Okay, there we go, so the, the pin is now in there. Uh, we can take our com rod, which has a, a, large, a large end and a small end, and the small end goes onto the pin. So uh, as you can see in the bottom here, we just need to pull the pin out a little bit, insert the com rod, and then push the pin through, uh, like so. And then uh, just push the pin so it's uh, located all the way across, like so. And then we can put our uh, little spring clip uh, back into that recess there, uh, which I will definitely do off camera because that's uh, definitely a fiddly job. Okay, and there we have the uh, the pin back on either side of the uh, or the spring back on either side of the pin, and the con rod back on there. And then this can then drop down uh, into our our engine. Uh, one thing to take note of when you put the uh, piston back into the engine is that uh, on one side there is a cutout, uh, on, the, on the other side there isn't, and the side with the cutout goes to the front of the motor, like so. And then we have to locate the, uh, the com rod onto the crankshaft at the back here, so move the, uh, the pin up to the top and then with a, a fair amount of fiddling there we go like that we can uh, get that back onto the uh, piston and then we get our piston liner and here's our piston liner which has got a little tiny locator um, cut out on it which goes uh, against this little pin at the top here so just uh, get that lined up and then uh, it will take a little bit of uh, working to uh, get the liner to go down uh, around the piston so uh, like I'm going to do it off camera because it's proving a little bit fiddly um, but so uh, that will locate down onto that pin okay there we go and that's uh, now on there and you'll find putting the um, piston liner um, back in quite difficult because there is a piston ring uh, on the top of the piston and uh, it needs to compress slightly in order to go inside of the liner so you end up having to fiddle around with it until and I'm, don't force it but um, you end up sort of having to fiddle and sort of push the com rod with your finger and fiddle with the liner a little bit um, just to get it to suddenly uh, locate and then it all goes free um, and uh, we're back in business. So uh, the next thing to go on after this is the uh, back plate uh, and again uh, when we took it off the back plate's got a uh, locator on the top here which you, you push in like so that goes to the top of the motor and then gentle pressure and then put the four screws into the back of the motor
like so. And then that's our uh, back plate back on the motor. Uh, and then it's uh, time to put the uh, head back onto the motor. Again, be careful that the uh, shim in here doesn't fall out when you do this. So uh, place it on its side like so. Locate it on. And there we go, that's the, uh, the head back in place. And then uh, you can just line up the, uh, the holes in the head and drop the screws in. Just put a couple in here just to retain this. So that's one in uh, and one in the opposite position. So, and then I'll, on, off camera I'll put the rest of those screws in. Okay, and there we go, that's the uh, head back on. And then down the front here, we've just got the uh, prop washer to place on, and the prop nut, like so. And then that's the main body of the uh, engine back together. And then we can get our uh, carburetor, uh, place that uh, onto the uh, carb barrel, just let it locate down gently line up our uh, two marks here and apply some pressure just to squish the o-ring a little bit yeah. and then on this screw here tighten up so and that's our OS55 which I've not put the carb on straight just that. There we go, that's our uh, OS55 HZ taken apart and all put back together again. And uh, I hope uh, as a maintenance arc, uh, video that proves useful for people there who need to perform some maintenance on their OS55HZ. Okay, so uh, I'll see you again next time.